This is your Adventist News, a service of the South Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. I'm Adriel Hepburn. Coming up in this week's broadcast, members look for the soon coming of Christ, children learn about God's amazing grace, senior youth leaders complete training, and 88.3 FM upgrades equipment. These stories and more on this week's Adventist News. Thanks for joining us for this week's Adventist News. The South Bahamas Conference of Seventh day Adventists held its annual winter convention from January 10th through 12th at the William Thompson Auditorium under the theme Christ Our Soon Coming King. The president of the South Bahamas Conference, Pastor Kenny DeVoe, welcomed the members, inviting them to prepare for Christ's soon return. Pastor Peter Carr, president of the Atlantic Caribbean Union, also encouraged the attendees to continue bringing in the blessings of 2019 into 2020, being fearless and hopeful in God and the mission of the church. The services were electrifying as songs of praise set the atmosphere for worship. Members enjoyed the music of the Pathfinder Band, the Convention Choir, Harmonious Praise and Friends, Youth Praise Teams, and several musical artists. Bahamas Academy, the Seventh-day Adventist Educational Institution of the South Bahamas Conference, was represented during convention, exhibiting the talents of their students of all ages as well as their faculty and staff. Pastor Austin Humphreys, senior pastor with the South Atlantic Conference of Seventh-day Adventists, was the guest speaker. When you spend quality time in prayer, seeking the face of God, knowing his will for your life, when you win those small victories, eventually it will open up the doors where eyes have not seen and ears have not heard. Pastor Humphreys encouraged the congregation to have faith and prepare for our soon coming king. He charged them to be transparent with their faith. Lord, too many of us want eyesight but don't have no insight. And many of our church people who, who want to be leaders and teachers, we often want to lead people with eyesight, but I need some folk that know him when they can't see him. We need people who don't just pray in public, but pray in private. Later in the weekend, Pastor Humphreys presented a message from Acts 16, verses 25 to 26, where Paul and Silas sat in prison but still worshipped God in their hearts. The climax to the meetings was a baptism of two persons, and several others recommitted their lives to Jesus Christ. God has to bring you through hell and high water. The Children and Adolescent Ministries Department of our conference held a convention for our youngsters on Saturday, January 11th, at the Maranatha Seventh-day Adventist Church. Hundreds of children, ages 14 and under, worshipped in a child-friendly environment under the theme, God's Amazing Grace. The children sang songs of praise and moved through interactive stations that taught them how they could grow every day in Christ. The youth hosted the program on the final evening of convention. The installation of youth leaders who completed the General Conference's Senior Youth Leadership Program was held. The pitting of these candidates was performed by Pastor Kent Price, Youth Director for the Atlantic Caribbean Union. The Pathfinder Club of the Hillview Church won display as they presented a drill sequence highlighting a promise from God's Word. Another emphasis in the service was the reclaiming of the missing youth in the South Bahamas Conference. It is said throughout the world that there is a decline in youth retention in our churches, and during this session the issue was addressed, giving the youth an opportunity to give feedback on how to build better relationships in order to reach the youth. The congregation and pastors prayed for the names of missing youth provided by their peers during the service, and a powerful charge was given by Pastor Austin Humphreys, where he encouraged youth and youth leaders to never undermine their roles within ministry, no matter how small or simple they think it might be. Convention 2020 is over, but as described by many, it is a refreshing start to the year as we look forward to the soon return of Christ our King. Stay tuned, we'll have more news for you as well as upcoming events in our conference. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. Love your neighbor as yourself. This is my commandment, that you love one another just as I have loved you. God is love. Greater love has no one than this, that one lay down his life for his friends. The Bible says in Matthew 21:16 that from the lips of children and infants, the Lord has called forth his praise. 
As Christians, we must ensure that our children are being raised in the fear and admonition of the Lord to prepare them for the latter days. When those times come, they will remember to call on the Lord to be saved so that God can forgive them of their sins and they can receive eternal life. So remember that theirs is the kingdom of God. Word SBC 88.3 FM has been in operation for eight years. During those years, its transmitting tower has been compromised on occasions due to the devastating effects of two major hurricanes. Since then, it has been the hope of several station managers of 88.3 FM to purchase a standalone tower to replace the existing tower that is unable to provide the needed coverage. However, last year, the new 150-foot tower was purchased and in December 2019, the structure landed on our shores. The structure is presently being assembled and the erection of the tower will follow. Laverne Sturrup, Director of Communications, said, We are happy that our faithful listeners, members, and community friends have seen it fit to give contributions in support of this ministry. We thank God for them, and we look forward to the extended coverage that this new 150-foot standalone tower will bring. Coming up in the South Palmas Conference, you are encouraged to live healthy lives by joining the Health Ministries Department in its annual 8 Weeks to Wellness program to be held February 3rd to March 20th, 2020 at the New Providence Seventh-day Adventist Church on Soldier Road. The session will be held on Monday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. You would first need to attend the pre-screening sessions on January 23rd and 30th from 4.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. and also on January 26th and February 2nd from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. There is a small registration fee. Please call 242 826-8486 or our South Palmas Conference Headquarters for more information. There will be a joint Adventist Youth Service at the Good News Church on Saturday, January 25th at 4 p.m. A special consecration for AY leaders, sponsors, youth elders, and Pathfinder directors will take place. Youth are asked to wear their church t-shirts. From January 24th to 26th, 2020, the Sabbath School Teachers Training will be held at the Grand Sound Church. Topics to be covered include keys to mission success and how to take your class on a journey. The guest presenter will be Elder Curtis Hall. For information on these events and more, visit our conference website at southbombersconference.org where you can view the news as well as various programming, read the weekly logos, or please feel free to call our headquarters at a very exciting part of life. It provides you with the opportunity to experience new cultures, new people, and see how the rest of the world does things. Here are three tips for healthy traveling. Get lots of rest. A tired body is practically a useless body. Imagine having to pack and get things ready for the trip walking up and down in the airport, carrying luggage, and crossing different time zones, only to be left exhausted? What's the purpose of traveling if you can't enjoy it to its fullest? Remember to exercise. Don't think because you are on vacation you shouldn't exercise. Is the gift shop only two blocks away? Instead of catching a taxi or a bus, how about just walking? Exercise enhances your energy, mood, and helps you sleep better. Stay hydrated. Whether you are traveling or not, it is important to drink lots of water. Carry a water bottle with you at all times in case it isn't convenient to get water. Keep in mind that your body depends on water to survive. You use water to maintain temperature, remove waste, and lubricate your joints. So always keep your body healthy. Safe travels! This has been Parisha Ferguson with your health tip, courtesy of Adventist Television. And remember, God wants us to prosper and be in good health. We go now to our news feature from around the world with the Adventist News Network. Thank you so much for joining us this week and Happy New Year. 
first in the news. The eyes of the world are on Australia as the nation battles the worst bushfires in modern history. An estimated half a billion animals are dead, thousands of homes destroyed, and more than 12 million acres have burned in the fires. More than 28 people have lost their lives. Leaders of the Seventh-day Adventist Church have expressed their heartfelt sympathies for those impacted by the bushfires currently raging across Australia. President of the Adventist Church in Australia, Jorge Munoz, said he is shocked and saddened by the unfolding tragedy. He said, I extend my deepest condolences to those who have lost loved ones in these devastating fires. There is so much suffering, it is absolutely heartbreaking. South Pacific Division President Glenn Townend also expressed his sympathy to the families and friends who have lost loved ones, saying, We pray for God to comfort those affected by this tragedy. I would encourage our members around the South Pacific to please keep those affected by these devastating fires and the emergency services personnel in your prayers. Cobargo in southeast New South Wales has been the worst affected area in the state, with the township engulfed by fire. Seven Adventist families lost their homes, properties, and businesses. The house that Cobargo Church Company used to meet in has also been destroyed. To help support the community, Vega Seventh-day Adventist Church opened their doors as an evacuation center, accommodating more than 35 people and 15 dogs. The church halls was also used for food storage. In light of the continuing crisis, the Adventist Development and Relief Agency in Australia is providing payments to families in need across the region and to churches helping their communities. So far, ADRA has assisted 15 families. To support drought relief, ADRA South New South Wales funded depression and anxiety recovery program facilitator training for representatives from 18 churches across the conference. The programs will be run over the months ahead to help struggling families or rural fire service volunteers who have suffered trauma. In Victoria, Burnsdale Church has been acting as the main hub to coordinate ADRA activities in Southeast Victoria, including the packing and distribution of 80 hygiene kits, the provision of multiple generators, and food for livestock. ADRA Director for Victoria, Rebecca Orient, said, This past week, I have witnessed so much devastation and suffering to the point where you struggle to find a glimpse of hope. But then you see the country town of Burnsdale come together to push through and support one another, with all the Victorian Adventist churches also responding, and you find hope. If you would like to know more about how the Adventist church is working during these tragic fires in Australia, please visit record.adventistchurch.com. If you would like to know how you can help during these fires, visit adra.org.au. That brings us to the end of our Adventist news from the South Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. Please feel free to share what is happening at your church by sending us your news stories and upcoming events. Feel free to email them to sbcadventistnews at gmail.com or call our media department at 242-341-4021. To view a rebroadcast of Adventist news along with other programming or to keep in touch with what's happening in our conference, please visit and subscribe to the conference website southbahamasconference.org, our YouTube channel, on our Facebook page. On behalf of our production team of Adventist Television Channel 658, have a happy Sabbath and thank you for watching this week's broadcast. I'm Adriel Hepburn with the SBC Media Network.